Welcome back, everybody, to Quarantine Cooking, episode 29. My name is Chef Mark Segovia with Segovia's Catering. We're here in this beautiful kitchen at the Neon Exchange. We have Tony Bowles in the back. Hello. She's the one who lets us come in here and cook, so thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. No problem. We want to say hi to Andrea Nicolette out there. How you doing, Andrea, at the YMCA? We miss you. Hope to see you soon, and we hope you're staying safe. Uh, we do have a cool menu today. We're doing a vegetarian uh, menu. It's pretty much a, yes, it's going to be a vegan. It's a vegan menu. Um, so we're going to be doing spaghetti squash, you guys. Yum. Uh, when I first started cooking, I was always intimidated. to use. I always would see it, never wanted to cook it, cook with it. But now I've mastered it, you guys, after 22 years. So today I'll be showing you a little menu on that. We're going to do some chickpeas. We have some chickpeas here. These are already cooked. Mm -hmm. Same thing as garbanzo beans. We'll go over that later on. Why they have two different names, but that's the same thing, you guys. And we'll put in some nice kale in there also. We do have a special guest today. Uh... This young lady is taking over Gilroy, really rocking and rolling. Uh, we have Haley Settled with Oh My Picnic. Hi, everyone. Hi, Haley. Oh My Picnic. Yes, so Oh My Picnic is a business that I recently started. Mm -hmm. I offer charcuterie and pop-up picnics. So it could be any event that you want. It could be a birthday, a date night, a proposal, anything you want. I do the charcuterie boxes that you can buy. I can deliver or pick up or you can do a display as well, so your whole countertop can be full. Beautiful. I love to do those because you get really creative. Definitely. So yeah, I offer those as well, and I just get really fun with charcuterie and have a great time. Nice, and we've used her services here at the yes. Neon Exchange. <laughs> She's very artistic as well. Thank nice. you. Did, did you start this business out of COVID, out of yep. necessity? Mm -hmm. or? I recently started it, uh, it was probably the end of July, and I just you know decided one day that I wanted to do it. I love charcuterie and I love having like events and parties and stuff like that and I was like I'm just gonna do it and I was telling him earlier that I just I just started it one day and it just took off and I've had a great time doing it yes and your primary uh, my understanding in the way that I found you also is Instagram was yes. your primary mechanism yes Instagram is great I love posting pictures and sharing everything so it's um, on Instagram, it's at, uh, at underscore oh my picnic. Okay, yeah, we'll look out for that's you. Really, that's <laughs> right. I know I follow you, and you got some wonderful pictures. Yeah, thank you, thank we you. We love them. So we're glad to have her here. You guys are going to put her to work a little bit. Okay. So, so we're going to rock and roll over here. Come on this way. Okay. Do you cook at home? Here and there, here and but there, I'm excited right? to create this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I like to learn new recipes. Yeah, as we were definitely. talking earlier about definitely. Pinterest. <laughs> so we got here, you guys, our spaghetti squash. Okay. Uh, you see that the stories are pretty inexpensive. They're, they're great. So what we're going to do with this is cut it in half. All, all this has been pre-washed already. And did you create this recipe or? Uh, yes. Yes. I always, uh, like I said, I've been cooking for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of, I've worked with this before. I've actually done this one before. Ooh, awesome. And it's really easy. Really. I like to pick something easy so that everybody could cook it. Yes. So what you want to do is cut it in half, you guys. You want to get the seeds out. Just scrape them like yeah, that. Yeah, just scrape them right real quick. There shouldn't be that many. You ready for the holidays? What you got going on? So I'm going to be having the holidays, Thanksgiving, and probably Christmas at my house. My parents love to host, so I'm excited about that. And Are you doing, doing a charcuterie I'm doing my charcuterie. <laughs> yes. yes, so I was getting I it. Yeah, some fall stuff for that. So some special little treats. So I'm excited to have that for my family because I always love to eat it. <laughs> I can't wait to see the pictures you're going to post. Oh, them. I know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> So what this you, what this time you? I'll be able to eat it myself. Yes, so. yeah. exactly. Because exactly. when I'm making everyone's, I'm like, oh, that's Do you so remember good. your first charcuterie board you made? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, yeah, sold, well, sold. Um, yes, sold was, uh, it was a box for, I think, six people, someone local in Gilroy. Were so you nervous? I was super excited. Yes, I was nervous, <laughs> but I was super excited. And I was like, you know what? I've got this. Like, mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. obviously have seen my stuff. They love it. So... And it worked out great. I got great feedback, so I was really excited and it boosted my confidence and just got the ball rolling. <laughs> nice. So we got this thing out here, you guys right here. And we're gonna get our sheet pan. Here we go. Put that on there. We put a little bit of olive oil. This is 100%, 100% olive oil right here. Just get a little rub on there. I like that container. <laughs> I know. 
I actually found it at a garage sale for 25 cents. Nice. Oh, wow, there you go. I love finds like that. Oh, right? Salt, pepper, when we go high, go, we go high. high. <laughs> we go high, you get it more of the surface. If you go like this, you're just going to get the best. Yes. Ooh, go high. That's a good trick. There we go. And then we're going to put them face down. Okay. And then we're going to poke a couple holes in them. Is there a reason why you want them face down? We, we put them face down so they cook faster that way. Because if you put them in here, the heat's, the heat's leaving. Okay. You put it on here, it's going to... Oh, capture poke, it? It's going to capture it, uh -huh. it. But you don't want to steam too much. It's always a little trick. That's why you poke a little hole so it's still steaming, but not too much. Uh, okay. Because if you... By the time you want it cooked, all this could be raw still, and this bottom, this top part will be cooked right here. Got it. So for even cooking is what we do. Put it in the oven. You should have your oven at 400 degrees, you guys, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until they're a little tender. You don't want it too cooked because uh, um, if you overcook them, they're not going to come out like spaghetti, but it'll be mush. Oh, okay. So you want them just just a little, probably about 15 minutes and 400 degrees would be okay. perfect. So, so we're going to put these in. You have a question? If you overcook them, then it turns, then you, just much. then you just have to make soup, right? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti soup. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, you guys, is we're going to let that cook for a little bit. We're going to get our saute going on real quick. Okay. And here we go. We got kale. Do you like kale? I do like kale. So this kale right here, there's so many different kales out there. There's a dino kale, which is okay. more of more the smaller kale, mm -hmm. which doesn't need uh, more of that much cleaning. You can just eat all of it. Mm -hmm. This one, you want to clean it. You can see the, you don't want this part, the stem part. Okay. It's, uh, you can't, it's, it's not edible. Okay. So but you this? can use it for presentation, yes. right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're talking about <laughs> yeah. for sure. sure. <laughs> totally. So we have here, we have our onion, which wasn't, I just brought it by accident, so I'm going to use it. Okay. Why not, right? Yeah, I love okay. onions. So let's get everything prepared here, you guys. Okay. What do you guys cook at home for your, your family? What do you guys like to cook? Okay, so my personal favorites are the green bean casserole oh, and like stuff. a potato casserole. It's like my whole plate is going to be loaded up with that. <laughs> so I'm like, someone's got to bring that. I do love the turkey and the rolls and the gravy, but like... The green bean casserole if we don't have that oh, that's the... i don't know what i would do i have yeah. to have that it's like the yeah. best thing ever so you know growing, up we, about those. growing yeah. up we never had that we we had a turkey then we had like enchiladas oh yeah well that's <laughs> good too that's really good yeah bean rice yeah and, yeah you know mashed potato but we never had green bean casserole when i first oh. had it when i got older i'm like we've been missing out yes it is like we the have best. been missing out you guys i mean yes. god yeah that's some good stuff so good i'm looking forward to actually uh, like probably like a month ago, I was like really craving Thanksgiving food, mm -hmm. so I like made my own little green bean casserole, <laughs> and it was nowhere near as good as any one of my relatives. But I just had to have it because I was like, I miss it so much. So yeah. I couldn't wait. But I'm really excited for the real deal this th next yes. Thursday. <laughs> yes. For real. Yeah. My favorites are um, of the all the you know standard dishes is the um, sweet potatoes with caramelized. That's for me yeah. that sweet potato or yam dish uh -huh. with caramelized walnuts and, oh, yes. and nuts on the top is my dessert. Like that yeah. is my oh, that's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Do you put marshmallows on too? Yeah. Yep. So that also we never had that growing up. Well, until I got older. Over here. Until I, I got older. Oh, there you go. Now you go. I got older. Now you have man, it. man, all this stuff is just. I yeah. know, we missed out. Yeah. That's so we right. do now we marry the two so now we'll have the traditional because i'm mexican Puerto Rican, so we'll the traditional mexican and puerto rican dishes yeah but we have a, a huge buffet of american standard yeah. dishes as well yeah that's awesome that's the best of both worlds yeah right there. exactly right oh my goodness yeah so we, so we have the, the kale clean here you guys okay i didn't use it all we'll just use this much it does cook down pretty quick so you're not going to put it in first we're going to go in stages here okay so we're going to get this hot Let's get this nice so hot. We have our squash cooking, you guys, at 400 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes. Remember, don't let it get too too soft because okay. it'll just be mush, you guys. Get this nice and hot. Some olive oil. Okay. Bada bean. Bada boo. And what I'm gonna cook, we have a, we have sun-dried tomatoes. These are ready to eat. You might get some that are a little dry. You might want to soak them in water if they're really dry. These are nice and tender, you can tell, so these are good to eat right away. We have gar Gilroy garlic, chili flakes. Do you like heat or no? I do. Yes. Perfect. Oh my gosh, okay. my dad cooks, cooks with heat. <laughs> I would like so to ask. Like, ah, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and then we got some nice lemon juice to finish off. Uh, we got our garbanzo beans, some fresh uh, rosemary, yellow yellow onion, 
garlic, salt, and pepper, you guys. Nice. We're gonna great, uh, get a good little saute with all this, and we'll get rocking and rolling here. So what we're gonna do right now, you guys, is we're gonna get the saute going. We'll pull out the squash, and we'll add the squash very last, you guys. So out of all the ingredients, you wanna start off with the hardest to the softest. Hardest to softest. Often, they, so they all cook together. They all gonna end, end up with the, finishing at the same time. Got it. So we'll put the garbanzo beans, and these are cooked already. And you were talking about earlier garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans and chickpeas are the same thing. Okay. They come from the same plant. I actually like to put those in my boards because yeah. they're like, especially for someone who's vegetarian and yeah. things like that, it's perfect. They're a good little snack. I love doing Oh, yeah, they're them. awesome. Actually, um, I learned a recipe from my um, brother's girlfriend. She's vegan, and she puts the chickpeas and she mashes the, them up and makes like a tuna. Like a kind of like a fake yeah, a mock tuna. tuna. Yeah. yeah, so you put it like a sandwich and you can mash it up and you put the yeah. vegan mayonnaise and stuff like that in there. And it totally creates like a fake tuna. Nice. And it's good. Oh, it's, we used to do that in, when I worked in Silicon Valley. Uh, we used to do mock tuna sandwiches yeah. with chickpeas. It's good. Chickpeas. Yeah, I've, made, uh, I've made patties with these before, you yeah. know, veggie patties. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do so much with these. So, but of course, hummus. Mm -hmm. Are you different there you hummus? Go. Um, there's restaurants I've been to where they deep fry them. Oh. They deep fry them and toss them like some chili lime or garlic. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, just delicious. Uh, but the way these became a little, the different names is, is the Spanish in Spain uh, made them into garbanzo beans. They're the ones who changed the name, but they're the exact same um, tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, a lot of places, especially America, is one of the largest importers of this. Mm -hmm. And we changed the name to chickpeas. Got it. And they are the bonds of beans, chickpeas, exact same thing. I've always been curious about that because like, yeah. you know, people get confused with it. And I'm like, honestly, they're the same, but they just got two different Two names. different names, yes. Yeah. There we go. So let these brown a little bit. Okay. Let them cook. And after that, we're going to let's add some uh, sun dried tomatoes. You like sun dried tomatoes? I do. Actually, you know what? I was looking at those when you're talking about them. I was like, how can I incorporate those into my boards? Some yeah. people, because some people might like that. And it's a great source of color. Because yes. I notice you have color. color yes. And you can tell I haven't, I haven't added the garlic yet. Mm -hmm. Because these are going to cook for a little bit. You don't want them to burn. Got you it. Want the to burn. So, Haley, where would we find out more information about Oh My Picnic and how to make reservations or pricing? Like, what would be the first step? Yeah. So, obviously, this is going to help me. People are going to be able to find some information on here. But my Instagram is mainly where everything is right now. Okay. I am going to work on starting a website so it's easier for people to just go look and spike that. But I try to have like little underneath the highlights, little info stuff so people can see. So, you know, sometimes when you like see something, you don't know exactly what it is. So right. I get a lot of questions like that and I'm always happy to answer questions through DM, mm -hmm. but I will eventually have a website where you can read more about that and stuff like that. But right now it's just Instagram. But like mm -hmm. I said, if you have any questions, please DM me and I'd love to meet you and talk to you about stuff and let you know what I do. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I can't wait to see the website when it evolves. We'll have to oh, I'm so do an excited. update. Oh, yeah. for sure, I will. Yeah, <laughs> yeah for real, good. you awesome. I love all your pictures. Thank there. you. So, where do you get all your ideas from? Who helps you with them? Do you do it by yourself? Your so, parents, or? honestly, I just like get ideas. Like, you know, like yeah. it just comes in my head. So, like, say right now we're talking about hummus and chickpeas. Like, I plan on doing a Mediterranean platter soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. That's a little, there you go. <laughs> a little surprise. So I have ideas for that because I love Mediterranean food. I better get a percentage off of it. Yes, I'm right? <laughs> no, I have, so I have plans to do that with, you know, the hummus and the, um, you know, the pita bread and you yeah. can incorporate vegetables and olives. And I love all that, like especially the cucumber and tomatoes and all that. Mm -hmm. So I'm planning on doing that. Um, but I just, you know, we were talking earlier as well that when you're on Pinterest and stuff like that, sometimes you see something and then it gets the ball rolling yes. in your head. And then you'll like, you know, create your own version of something. But yeah. usually if I like see something, like it will just like spark something in my head. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, we just looked at sun red tomatoes and I'm like, okay, how can I incorporate that? So yeah. that's how you get my ideas. They honestly just come to me. <laughs> and then you just drop yeah. them down. Yes, exactly. Totally. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you about this great book I have. That's, uh, I'll, I'll get the author and I'll get it to you. But this lady, she, she put in a book about 200 different ways to make gravy boards. Yeah. Oh, wow. I think it'd be great for you just, you know, get ideas. I, 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 I got a lot of ideas totally. out of that. Yeah. Um, one of my family friends got me one, and I don't know if it's the same one that you have, but there's like Easter boards, and they it actually, might be. It might be they the actually one. have a Mediterranean one on there too, and different stuff, and it, like that kind of stuff, like, you know, it gets me excited to look at it, because I'm like, okay, how can I incorporate that? Yeah. And I love to, I love to make everything different. So even with my picnics and stuff like that, I'm like, how can I like, 
I get in trouble when I go shopping. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> I've got to create a new must display right Antonio now. Antonio here. Right? It's oh, yeah. it's, you, once you get started, you can't stop. Like the table scoops. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> forget about it. I, literally, I'm like, okay, now I've got to slow down because I've got 20 different options over here. And <laughs> so yeah, but I love to change everything and make new stuff all the time. So yeah. yeah so. So here we go, you guys, we got the chickpeas right here. We put the good. onions in there, sun-dried tomatoes, oh, salt, wow. and pepper. That's we got uh, five things in there right now, garbanzos, tomatoes, onions, salt, pepper. Actually, six, olive oil. That smells really good. Does it smell good? Yeah, and it's it does. Fre real fresh, real healthy, you guys. At this point, you could be doing so many different things with it. You could add spinach, kale, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, cabbage, uh, jalapenos. Um, whatever you want. This, I mean, this is very universal. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot of stuff with that. Our, uh, I did stop the oven. It did cook for 20 minutes or let them cool off there. Let me show you what you're looking for. Okay. Let's get this out. It's okay that it's all wrinkly like that. Yes. Yeah, that's what you're looking for. <laughs> and this is what you're looking for right there. Oh, uh, okay. So that when you get it, uh, okay. you can bring it over here. And I'll show you how to do this after once you get it. Look at that. Spaghetti. Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome? So I'll show you guys how to get the, all that out right now. So we'll finish this real quick. Do you have one recipe that is your like all-time favorite recipe? Like that? I love my, my ceviche. That's I, your favorite? Yeah, my favorite. I, my, everybody that I've ever cooked it for, they love it. You've yeah. had it, right? Mm -hmm. My shrimp ceviche, apple, mango, carrots. It's so cucumber. hearty. And so I, I might have to order some of that from you because my parents love ceviche. Oh, yeah. We could trade a, a, a ceviche there for a There you go. Oh, wow. I like it. That's a, I love doing the I trade. want the Mediterranean one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we you can be the first one to get the Mediterranean There one. we go. There we go. <laughs> so I have some uh, lemons here. Okay. We're going to put the kale last, you guys. We're going to put it very last. These two will be very last. Okay. There we go. We're going to add the uh, garlic. Bam. Let's put all of it. Three bell roy, you better like garlic. <laughs> right? Rosemary, right here. I just had some sprigs. Peel them off. Chop them up and get that out of the way there. Nice. There you go. Beautiful. Amazing. Throw that in there. Look at that. Smell that. You need that. a little slow-mo on that. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, that does smell really good. Oh, my goodness. Finger whip. Finger whip for that. Mmm, that smells really good. Yeah? I'm excited. Are you ready to eat, I'm though? I'm going to throw a little bit of more I olive sure oil am. in there. I sure am. A little more olive oil. I want it a little saucy. Yeah. It's 100% virgin olive oil, so it's good for you mm -hmm. guys. So Haley, what's a couple things that you've learned from COVID? Because my, my I had heard you say that you had started it in COVID. Yeah. So you know, I've always loved. As we were talking earlier, I've kind of started a couple different businesses, and it led me to here. But mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you just when we got into that situation where we, everyone was you know uncertain about what was yeah. going to happen, no one knew. It's different, right? This whole right. year has been a shock for everybody. Um, I would. You know, TikTok was a huge thing, right? Yeah. And I would always see people on there saying, like, if you don't get out of quarantine, changing something for the better, like, you know, you really need to, like, wake up and think about, like, you know, there's so many opportunities and there's so many things that I personally love to do and throughout my whole life, like, people told me, like, oh my gosh, Haley, like, you're going to be my wedding planner, you're going to be my this, and I'm like, I love doing that, like, please, I would be happy to do that, you're going to design my home, all that stuff. So, you know, I was like, you know, just thinking, like, I want to be my own boss, I want to have fun with what I do, like... I, you know, I'm going to college and I'm doing that stuff, but I just had like, I knew that there was something for me, but I didn't yeah. know what yet. So I was trying to figure out how to like compile it all together and stuff like that. And then it just came to me. I had my birthday party that I threw for myself and obviously my parents helped me because they're amazing. But and how old did you turn? <laughs> 21. <laughs> so I did um, a picnic uh, style, you know, low seating, like mm -hmm. all the boho, stuff like that. And after I did that, I was like, why am I not doing this? Because I mean, I <laughs> love it. Work, so exactly. Like, like, why am I not offering this for people? Right. Because I love doing it, and I know that love people love seeing it and doing it themselves. But you know, like sometimes people don't have the creative eye to do it, or they don't have the time to do. Like you know, like especially for guys. Like I'm just gonna say. I'm going to be, when summer comes, you know, I'm calling right? You. Date nights. Right. You know, a lot of guys don't like, you know, they will see something, but they don't like 
have the stuff to put it that all together. So yeah. it's perfect. It's a win-win for the guy and the girl mm -hmm. <laughs> or, you know, whoever, right? So it's every date night, it works perfect. You know, you yeah. can have like something special, especially with COVID as we're just talking, you know, if you don't want to go to the restaurant and change it up and stuff like that, and you want to be private and you want to be social distance, like you can still have that date night feeling without going to a restaurant at a picnic and you can yeah. choose wherever you have it. And you know, I love to get creative. So if, if someone wanted a meal from him, I'd, thinking, I'd love I'm to thinking, bring it to my what I'm thinking. Yeah. Old pickup truck, under the stars, picnic. Oh, I beautiful. love that idea. See, there's so many different ways to have a picnic and get creative. And so anytime someone comes to me and they don't know, I'm like, let me get creative with it as long as you're okay. And let's just run with it because I love to change yeah. it up and spice it up a little bit. So, yes. So I guess the circling back, the moral of that is, seizing the day and taking the yes, opportunity during absolutely. COVID was something that you, it was like your aha moment. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And to I, be 21 and yes. to have that aha, aha moment is a testament to how mature and smart you are. Thank so you, you go, thank girl. You. I can't wait to see what, what, you, what comes in the future for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully we're involved and we all oh, for sure. do it together. Yes, absolutely. And you know, I've had people come to me and say like, I know this isn't it for you. Like I like this isn't where you're stopping. Like I know that I, I can't wait to see where you go. And to me, that makes me feel so happy. And like I'm like wow. Like the fact that you know it gives us the confidence and makes me want to like keep on working at it every single day and get more creative and just you know never have a stopping point. Just Definitely. Okay, so Haley, look behind you on the refrigerator. As you're talking this whole time, you're gonna proceed as if success is inevitable. Yes, there we go. <laughs> There we go. Uh, just like that. It was right behind me. Perfect. <laughs> and all of these are great. I'm telling you. I love, love it. it. There's a reason why they're there. I love it. Let's take a look at that right there. It has the Ooh, kale. That looks gorgeous. It has everything in there except the lemon and the uh, pepper flakes. So okay. we're going to add that right now, you guys. That is something Amazing. that you just like sort of. Take a look at that. That looks awesome. Splash I love the, the green. Minute. I love the colors. I love. And it's healthy, right? Yeah, it's oh, very yes, healthy. Definitely. So we'll do some lemon. So you yes, just gotta have the lemon. So you splash that in there at the end? At the very end. Okay. They keep it fresh. Okay. And some pepper flakes. Not too much. I don't want to kill her, guys. Right? I know I said that I like spice, but you <laughs> might kill me over here. <laughs> and the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to clean out these guys. Okay. And then we're gonna add it right into that. Okay. So where's my fork? Let's get a fork over here. Okay. Actually, it's right here. I remember it after. So real easy, you guys. They come out of the oven, let them cool for a little bit. If they're still too hot for you to handle, let them cool. You can put them on the board like that. Okay. And if they're too cooked too much, they're not going to do this. Wow, They'll just be that's mushy. That's magic. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> a lot of people get intimidated. They think, oh, they don't have to cook it, or they just want to cut it. They'll do it, and well, you have to cook it first. That's what I thought when I first started cooking yeah. when I was real young. I'm like, how are they doing that? That looks amazing. Look at that. Look at this, you guys. And you just scrape it all. Scrape yep. it all off. And here's your spaghetti. Let me go in for like a closer shot. I love that. Regular spaghetti would be about 25 grams of carbs. This is about six to seven. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can still have, you know, your spaghetti dinner. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. That looks great. That's beautiful. And so uh, just to reiterate, you were cooking it at 400, 400 degrees. 400 degrees, 15 minutes. Okay. Don't let it get too mushy. Don't make, don't make soup. Yeah, don't, yeah, make, don't soup. make soup. That'd be our next recipe. If I would have cooked it too much, I would have been making soup. There we go. You know what? With your creativity, I'm sure it could be like oh, a, yes. another amazing recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to overcook there it and, you know, get a new recipe. There we go. Look at this. Doesn't that wow. look amazing? That it does look amazing. Came out perfect. Yeah, that looks great. Good job. Look at this. Oh, my God. When I smell that over there, it looks smelling good. It's talking to me. I saw one seed that will pull out. <laughs> that prepares what for enough for like how many servings? A good amount. You're talking about if everyone got like a four ounce serving, you're looking about uh, with everything in there, probably about eight. Oh, wow. Okay. Eight people. Easy. There we go. Look at this. And let's take a close look at this. Okay. Spaghetti squash, you guys. That's beautiful. Okay. There we go. I'm sold. And when you put it into the pan, you don't want to mix it up like crazy. One or two tosses, that's it. You're done. Okay. It'll start breaking apart. Put it into the pan there. Okay. Get rid of this. What do you think so far? You I having a good time? Amazing. Yes, I'm having a great time. Thank you guys for having me. 
Thank you for suggesting. Oh, of course. Look at this, look at this, you guys. Looks oh fantastic. My God. It looks like it's going to be my new weekly recipe. <laughs> Should we let her try to give it a toss? Yeah. Yes. Let's look at see. It. Look at she's going to kill it. I don't even know it. All right. Do you want me to like... Shh, let's see all Oh, right. goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm afraid to I'm going. afraid to just like shake it out. <laughs> How did you have that word fear in you, babe? I know, right? <laughs> just when it comes to ruining your amazing cooking. <laughs> that looks delicious. Thank you. <laughs> good job, good job. I was afraid that I would, you know, shake it out of the pan and then we would have to start It would come like right at the screen. Yes, we would be feeding it to the video. <laughs> I told you we should have smell o vision here right now. My yeah. God. So at the very end, we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. And there we go, you guys. Fantastic. Wow. Look at that. Right. That's gorgeous. Let me get a close up. <gasps> All right, so we're ready to And that's not pasta, that's spaghetti squash. Looks just like pasta, you guys. So we're gonna get plating here, you guys. And uh, you're gonna try it out? Let me oh, know what yes. you think, Haley, okay? I'm so excited. There right. we go, you guys. We have our wonderful spaghetti squash, kale, Chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little plate here. Okay. I'll plate this. I'll put this spaghetti. It's act like this is just regular spaghetti. Beautiful. And it's okay to manipulate it like that. It's not gonna break apart no, in your no, tongue. It's, it's working. It's wonderful. Look at that. Okay. Gorgeous. Let's get some tomatoes for her. The sun dried tomatoes. There we go. Let's get this out of the way real quick. A little bit of olive oil, you guys. I'm not gonna splash it. Here we go. Ooh, fancy. We call it, we say fancy schmancy. Yes, fancy schmancy. <laughs> there oh, we go. Oh, and rosemary. Yes. Pepper flakes. There you go, you guys. Look at this wonderful oh, healthy that. dish. Wow, look at that. We have spaghetti squash here. Uh, we sauteed the, the sun dried tomatoes, the kale, the chickpeas. Make any version you guys want at home. Uh, you know, uh, mix it up a little bit. Check in your pantry what you got. Add it to it, you guys get rid of it. You can add corn you want, black beans, whatever. Make it a Southwest one, a, uh, you know, south of the border one, jalapeno, serranos, cilantro, whatever you guys want. So, Haley, you're going to try it out now. I'm Let excited. Us know I can't All right. wait. All right. Well, here we are, guys, with Haley. Haley, thank you for coming on our show again. Thank I really appreciate happy. it. And we wish you nothing but the best and yes, all the success you. in the world. And we can't wait to see where it just takes you in the future. Well, thank we're you so all going to be involved with you, so yes, we're going to have you back I'm here. I'm so glad to have met you both, yeah. and it's just amazing. Thank so, you so, so much. So, saying that, you better like my food. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, don't even I have to, to get it going a little bit, guys. I'll tell you right now, I don't even have to taste his food to just know it's amazing. <laughs> like, I'm already anticipating, so. So, this, we have the spaghetti right, here squash, we go. you guys, with the sun-dried tomatoes, some kale, chickpeas. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. All right. I don't even know where to begin. I'm trying to get, get a little, little bit of everything. Right, a little bit of everything. Oh, that looks Ooh, good. That's a right? good bite okay. right there. Just go ahead Please and excuse me if it's messy. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. Thumbs up. We got the thumbs nice. up from Haley, you guys. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up from Oh My Picnic, you yes. guys. So check her out on Instagram. So good. Check her out on Instagram. Again, thank you so much. Thank you. Tony, I want to wish you guys all a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, we won't yes, be here next week. We're going to take a week off. So you guys can all be with your families and enjoy some time. So... From the Neon Exchange, from Segovia's Catering, from Oh My Picnic, from uh, Quarantine Cooking, we want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving out there. We're thankful for our audience and yes. all the people that have supported us through all Definitely. of this. Definitely. One thing before we sign out, you guys, uh, we do have a toy drive oh, here yes. going on until the 13th. Bring an unwrapped toy and uh, bring it in here to the Neon Exchange and they'll be giving it out to the kids later on, you guys. Okay. Look for more information. Well, I'm Chef Mark Segovia. We're signing out. Thank All you. Right. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.